Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello everyone, it's a delight to be with you from Stadium Australia here in Sydney. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the group stage for these two nations here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's the Republic of Ireland and they take on Nigeria. Well thanks Derek, this is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. This is the starting 11 for the Republic of Ireland. Well, it's a solid system defensively, a back five in the midfield four, but it does leave their lone striker isolated. So it's important they break forward quickly when they do regain possession. And here's the starting 11 for Nigeria. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And the match begins. No oh, foul play, says the referee. O'Sullivan, Heather Payne, Katie McCabe, oh, possibilities inside the box, oh it comes to nothing in the end, really should have made more of that, Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, oh, very effective play in possession. Onumono! An early goal, it is the ideal opening. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal.
Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Denise O'Sullivan. Chance to cross. Well, showing everyone her abilities in possession. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Now, does she mean business? No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Good technique displayed. But quick thinking defensively. It needs an accurate cross. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Ayinde. And she's hit it with power, just wide, however. O'Sullivan Payne showing patience looking for the equaliser well I think a classic commentator's curse just then couldn't make the ideal pass well possibilities in the centre dangerous looking attack Excellent defending. The outcome is a goal kick here. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. Diane Caldwell. Izzy Atkinson. Katie McCabe. This looks promising. Good strength to keep the ball. Oh, she's put it over, but so close. We will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here.
Intelligent threaded pass here. Still work to do. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway here into the second half. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, the card is out and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Into the box it goes. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. A chance to eat into their lead. Well, that is quite simply a tremendous stop. Well, you have to praise the goalkeeper there. That is absolutely brilliant. The way she makes the save, you couldn't get any better than that. They take it short. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Michelle Alozzi. Ayinde, Tony Payne might be able to set up the chance. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Katie McCabe. Izzy Atkinson. McCabe. Chance to play it in. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. And reading it absolutely superbly. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. And making sure nothing untoward happened. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? And they're making a change. And pretty good technique there. Yeah, and I think that's a good effort. Just wide of the post. She really does show good technique, as you mentioned, Derek. <laughs> A 
and they will be awarded a free kick for that well they've decided to make a change It is a decent looking attack here. Firing it towards goal. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Tony Payne. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Onumonu. Oh, big opportunity! And foiled by the post. Well, that's the end of that for now. And that was a very fine read. Oh, showing excellent vision. Of goalkeeping. Well, she showed her class there, closes the angle down, makes herself big. It's a really good stop. Can someone get on the end of this? And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And what an easy finish it is in the end. Mind you, the market is so poor. She didn't even need to jump. She won't care about that, though. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Izzy Atkinson. That's a useful cross. Well, threat averted. A foul, but advantage played. Asisato Shola. And full time it is. Not the result the Irish fans were hoping for. They have lost. Stuart, your analysis. Well, oh dear, Derek. That was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach's got a lot of work to do before the next game.